PowerPoint PowerPoint Hi all We're going to do a video on PowerPoint It'll probably be a series of videos We'll get into a general introduction and then uh, in later videos we'll do some more advanced things uh, the one thing that I like to go over at the end is like if you're doing a trade show you know you're working somewhere and they're setting up a cafeteria table and uh, you put up a computer screen and you got a slideshow plays over and over you know it, it never ends you can do that inside PowerPoint so this web page here this is Microsoft's web page on PowerPoint you can buy it you can try it uh, these days I think everything's online but I think you can still buy it and install it on your computer and I think there's there's still a place on Microsoft's website where you can use it for free you create your PowerPoint on the internet inside a web page for free and then you download it to your computer you download the completed item to your computer uh, those aren't full versions of PowerPoint but it still does the job for most things so okay so I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here uh, in case you don't know what PowerPoint is it's just a slideshow you use it to create a slideshow so I have a few examples here these are just random things I pulled off the internet see like this would be your main slide and then these are the other slides down here at the bottom you can see it's uh, there's seven slides in this guy okay so here's a sample uh, you can see here there's 27 slides in this slideshow this would be the first slide second slide third slide so you would build your your slides out here and then this area you can just scroll through it you can do some editing on here but it's a lot harder because uh, it's real small you can make this bigger and turn it off uh, this area down here is just notes for you as you're giving your presentation then uh, you would have these notes on your computer screen that you could read the people viewing your slideshow through a projector you know like an overhead projector that goes on onto the the wall the screen on the wall you know, they wouldn't be able to see these here okay so there's these guys down here the main one is this one that looks like a uh, it's supposed to look like one of those screens that you pull down so then you could show your movie on the screen so if you click that it goes into full screen mode and then you can right click and go next slide and go right click and go previous slide you could also use the arrow keys go back or forward you can also get those little clickers you can buy them at the office store it uh, it's about the size of a remote control maybe smaller and uh, 
you put like a little USB thing inside your computer and then you can control your PowerPoint through your clicker you know you can walk around the room and move from slide to slide so those are nice they're only about 30 bucks or so you know there's there's cheap ones and there's more expensive ones okay so so uh, before we get started if you go to Yahoo advanced search you have this area down here and you can find samples out on the web like if we do a search here we can say search for only items that end in PPT PPT for PowerPoint and then like we could do a search for something so show me show me the PowerPoints that have to do with health so. and then these are all PowerPoints and you can usually tell by the the extension here PPTX the newer PowerPoints add the X X for XML but PPT is the main extension this one's not showing it but I'm sure it's there you can usually see the extension this PPTX that's the extension So if we right click and go to uh, open link, it says open it in PowerPoint or you can save it to your computer, go open it. So this is just another sample PowerPoint. You can see there's 50 slides in this one. They've got a lot of notes here. So how you create your PowerPoint, that's like a personal preference type thing. You can see there's not really a lot of text here. Everything you say or want to say during your presentation doesn't have to go on the slide. Just the main points. You know, and then you should already have in your head what you want to say, right? These are just reminders of things that you want to go over. This first slide, they, they've got a lot of notes on this guy here. So, and then, let's see here. This one here, I think this would be a nice PowerPoint. They just have a few basic points. It's not real cluttered. This one here is nice. It's kind of hard to read the, the text over the fancy graphics but it's doable see how they move the graphic out of the way once they start putting text on the screen uh, this is nice here because they're using a graphic that has to do with what you're talking about you know you don't want to just put random pictures up on the screen that have nothing to do with what you're talking about that that's not a good way to create a presentation but this graphic has to do with what you're talking about
this one is nice it's short it's only seven slides uh, this one seems a little cluttered at first but then if you look down here this is just like your table of, of contents slide these are the items they're gonna go over and then this guy this round one here they talk about here this orange one they talk about here this one they talk about here so there's not a lot of there's not a lot of text you know they aren't just having bullet points it's all done inside graphics so that's kind of neat So my experience is uh, most people use PowerPoints as just a crutch these days. You know, you stand up in front of the audience, PowerPoint plays behind you, you know. Which is fine, you know, because most audiences now are used or they expect to see a PowerPoint. You know? Even if it's something simple. Okay, so enough of that I've been teaching this stuff for at least 15 years part-time college uh, I have all my lectures inside of word files mainly so we don't miss nothing you know as we go through the topics at least I have my main points here so we'll go over my word file and then we'll still open PowerPoint and work through some of the stuff live. Uh, okay, so this first part, this is just showing you a sample of a PowerPoint in case you've never seen one. And here we talk about these guys down here. The only important one is this one with the pull down screen that you can actually play the PowerPoint. And I'm showing you here how to start up PowerPoint. If you go to your start button and come down to Microsoft Office PowerPoint has an orange icon. I'm going to right click. You can see here it says pin to start screen. I already have it pinned to my start screen here. But I can go more and I can say pin to the taskbar. So now it's down here on my taskbar. And I can click and drag that over here. Okay. So we can just start it up, start up PowerPoint, uh, it starts you with one blank slide, just like When you open Word, it starts you with a blank piece of paper. You open up Excel, it starts you with a blank spreadsheet. Okay, so we have our blank slide. And then it gives you these squares here that you can type text into. Okay, so everything inside PowerPoint has to be inside of a box. Inside of a box. Uh, that box won't show inside your slide. When you click off of it, the box will go away.
you can grab this guy and angle the text and all of your your formatting feature just like office it's all available here bold you can make the font bigger you can change the font I'm just randomly changing things here okay so the left hand pane is where you can view your slides that's this guy here normally this is where you would do most of your work you can do some editing on this side Uh, you can change the background it doesn't have to stay white well, you can right click uh, you can't right click on the box because you won't get the format background so you have to right click on the white space and go format background and then there's different ways to do it you can do it with a fill or you can do do it with a picture so we'll go solid fill, you can pick a color, you can apply it to one slide, you can apply it to all of your slides. That's a common feature inside PowerPoint, you can click apply all, so it changes all your slides. You don't have to pick through each slide and make the change on every slide. Uh, you can add a, a gradient. By gradient, they mean it fades from one color to another. It, like this is fading from blue to white. You can change the color. They have some presets here. Just just for the sake of the video, we'll we'll pick an extreme change here. You can change the direction. okay so there's all types of ways you can change it down here uh, usually though you don't want your slides to be that colorful because it's kind of hard to read the text so usually you should stick with something simple you know just a slight change you can add a picture they have some built-in pictures that you can use uh, it might be kind of hard to read your text over a fancy picture so I would pick something simple you can use your own picture uh, they have more built-in clip art here uh, if you go out to a search engine and do a search for background images you'll get a whole bunch of samples you know do a search and then click on the images button there's all these backgrounds like this is a nice picture but that wouldn't be a good background because you wouldn't be able to read the text over it want to go with like pastel colors always work best so this is just a background image picture we'll save it to my folder then back in PowerPoint we can go clip art import find my PowerPoint folder it, it brought the picture in here so 
so now we have that picture as a background so where you would use that is like you're working for a company and you want to use your company photo you can insert pictures you, you can go insert here insert a picture inside my PowerPoint folder I've got a photo here and what's nice about that is it creates the box and then puts the picture inside of it so it's a one-step thing it's actually doing two things for you some art program you have to create a box and then you got to go get the picture insert the picture into the box so PowerPoint does it in one step it creates the box and inserts the picture What I was showing here is if you insert a picture that you get off the internet, you can see it's got a white background. Well, if you have that picture on your slideshow, you may not want that. Let's see here. If I go insert picture, insert picture here's the cookie monster picture you can see now we have this white background on our background on our slide what you can do is on recolor now if you're using a different version of PowerPoint, they might have moved this around, but it'll be the same process. You, know. you set the transparency on the picture. That's a common thing inside art programs. You can set the transparency. So set transparent color. So just click that guy. Your icon changes to that little uh, arrow. And then click the white background and then it shows it shows the uh, slide background through the photo through it shows the slide background through the picture uh, if you look up here around the eyes it didn't do all that great of a job because it's kind of guessing at the uh, outline of the image Uh, what you can do if you have to like you can open up the picture inside paint and then like you use a pencil and pick like a light color and kind of draw around the eyes you know I I use a darker color here so you can see it and then when you set the transparency it won't bleed into the eyes you know so I only bring that up because you might be working with your company logo and you might bump into that you know. uh, sometimes those are best done with more advanced photo editing programs like Photoshop but if you just take a picture and right click and go edit it opens up in paint and you can do a lot in paint especially the newer versions uh, I had a year of Photoshop in college and uh, I can do just just about everything inside paint you know sure there's some more advanced things that you can't do but uh, for most graphics especially PowerPoint graphics you know uh, when you put a graphic in inside PowerPoint it doesn't have to be a great work of art you know it's, it's only going to be on the screen for a, maybe a minute you know as you're flipping through and you know people aren't looking at your graphic they're reading your text they're listening to you you know if you have small flaws in your graphic they ain't gonna pay, they ain't gonna notice it they ain't gonna care 
<coughs> uh, something that we're bumping into here is the picture is in front of the text. So that's what these guys are for here. You know, we can select the picture. We can tell the picture is selected because of the uh, the box and go to send the back. And now the picture is behind the text. Same here. The, the picture is in front of the text. We can go send the back. And now the picture is behind the text. So there's a, in art, taking photographs, there's something that's called a rule of three. And that, that is, your eye starts up here, 